Question seven. Liam buys two apples, which you can see right there. He pays with one pound coin and gets 64 pence change. How much does one apple cost? Now basically one pound coin as you know is 100 pence so we need to figure out how much he actually paid in the first place well 64 pence back up to 100 pence let's try and count back up to see what the difference is well if you add on 6 pence you would get to 70p and if you from 70p if you add on 30 pence you get to 100 pence which is the same as one pound so altogether, he must have paid 36 pence was what he paid because that's why he got 64 pence change. 64 pence add the 36 pence makes it up back up to one pound. So he paid 36 pence. Now if you wanted to do a column method for that, you could actually just subtract uh, 64 from 100. But that actually is quite a nasty column method because there is lots of zeros on the top but just to prove to you that it does work zero take away four you can't do so you go to the next column but you can't borrow from that next column because that is also a zero so in this case you have to borrow from the one borrow from the one and that turns it into zero the one you borrowed makes this into ten but remember we need to start at the very end column so now we can borrow from the ten which would make nine and the one we borrowed would make ten there so now we can do it. 10 take away 4 is 6, and 9 take away 6 is 3. Nothing take away nothing is obviously nothing. So again, that gives you 36 pence paid. Now, if you paid 36 pence, you paid this for, but for two apples. We well, want the cost for one apple. So all we've got to do is half the 36 pence. So to half 36 pence, half of 6 pence is 3 pence, and half of 30 pence is 15 pence. Put those two together, you'll get half 36 pence, which is 18 pence. So your final answer should be 18 pence. Just to double check, stick it back in the question. So he buys two apples, which are both 18 pence each. Two 18s makes you 36 pence. And 36 pence paid, he would get. 64 pence change from one pound coin because this six pence and 64 pence would make the one pound coin therefore it is correct